Hello and uh, welcome to my summer car. So this is a Finnish uh, game set in 90s, uh, 90s Finland and effectively the basic goal of it is to make a car. So it's the car like you it's shown on screen right now um, and you can actually, once you've actually made the basic car you can actually add on to it and make it into a rally car. So we'll jump into it. Um, I'll run through the basics of this game using a save I've made earlier. Right, so we're in the game now. So when you spawn in, you spawn at your house, uh, which is where you always respawn uh, if you die, for example, which is a possibility in the game. <coughs> if you have permadeath on, then you, you die and that's it, you're gone. But um, there's an option to turn it off in the menu when you're creating the profile. Um, and if you do that, then you just respawn here every time. So, we'll start with basics. So, <coughs> there's a map. Uh, we are the place here that starts with the Kes Keslin Perro. Probably saying that completely wrong. Um, and you can go anywhere on this map. Um, the, the main thing of, important, of importance, as like a basics really, is the shop, which is up here. <coughs> The shop on the petrol station is this bit right here. So that's the thing you only really need to know as like a basics really. Um, there's, it's quite actually quite well detailed in the house to be honest compared with even other games. Um, and <coughs> so as you can see the top left is a bunch of bars. So there's urine, hunger, thirst, fatigue, dirtiness and money. So <clears throat> all those needs you actually do need to attend to them if you don't your character will die at some point and um, it has happened to me by mistake a few times uh, when I was not paying attention um, food there's no way of getting food at the house the only way to get it is from the shop so you definitely want to go to the shop um, as soon as possible I recommend even the first thing you do as soon as you get into a game um, into a new save is to just go straight to the shop because you can easily die or screw yourself over going to the shop so you're better off trying to go shop straight away so if you do screw up or have or make a mistake then you just restart and make a new game then so thirst you can actually drink beers which is bah, very finish I guess quite nice animation when you do drink one you can just lob it or whatever <laughs> Classic. Um, <coughs> but however, something else which I didn't know until a few days ago is you can actually drink the water from the tap. See so the bar goes down. Then see the urine bar has gone up again. So then you have to. You, there's a toilet. You don't have to go to the toilet. But you can just do it on the floor. It doesn't matter. Doesn't, the game doesn't care. But you can. If you want to be proper about it, you can go to the toilet. And as you can see also, that's the save and quit. That's still how you save and quit the game. Which is logical on the way but also slightly strange I guess right so <coughs> what else is basics yeah so food you buy at the shop drinks you can buy at the shop but you can also just drink from the tap dirtiness um, <coughs> you use the sauna to solve that sorry <coughs> So what you want to do for that is, um, well, you have to turn the sauna on first, which is these knobs here. I've already got them on. So I just, have it, I just leave it on all the time, to be honest. But what you do then is you grab the bucket, go over to the shower tap, turn the tap on the shower, wait for the bucket to refill, which does so quite quickly. You don't actually need the full bucket anyway. And then what you do is you go over here, drop the bucket, Pick the what well, something was called dipper looks like a soup label to me, but anyway, and then you dump it on the sauna. You'll see it make your dirtiness go down. Oops. <coughs> and if you stand over here, she makes it go down bit by bit without having to slosh yourself again. So at first, I thought you had to keep making more steam every time you wanted the bar to go down but I didn't realize if you just stood on this bench it does actually go down by itself once you've done it once but he, it, it doesn't do it by itself you have to get some uh, one bunch of steam to do that 
Right, um, then fatigue. So fatigue, so there is a bed and bedroom and you can just sleep in it. Oh, it lets me sleep in it now. When you sleep in it, depending on how tired the character is, will depend on how long you sleep in the bed. So timing is very important in this game because the shops and the facilities are only open certain hours and some of them even certain days. So you really want to be careful you know what time of day it is before going to sleep or plan to you know go to sleep later so you don't end up waking up in the middle of the night and have nothing to do. <coughs> it's a mosquito, it sounds like a mosquito. Also one thing is good, you can buy some mosquito spray from the shop and you spray it on. It should make them go away usually. Although I've noticed it doesn't. The food I've just left on the table, you can the fridge does work if you want but oh, I do actually have some you can actually put some stuff on just to eat something. So you can actually use the fridge if you actually want to be O C D about it. But it takes too long to be honest. So over here there's a TV which does actually work. Um, it's got some weird film on it. What else for basics? Um, I think that's probably all for the house. Oh no, that's it. <coughs> the phone. So the phone will ring occasionally randomly here and there. And what it'll do is it'll give you jobs. So there's three different types of jobs I believe. Was it two? No, it's, uh, yeah, three. So the first one which is the best and easiest in my opinion is the sewage one. So you get you use your sewage truck, which you then drive around collecting sewage around the map. Well, not pumping sewage out of people's um, septic tanks, uh, which is quite simple and it gives you quite a lot of money. Second one is you can do uh, firewood delivery. <coughs> so for that, you have to cut your firewood up with the, the barn next to the house, and then you put it in a trailer and take it to whoever wants it. And the third thing, occasionally some drunk random person will phone from the town that will say, can you come and pick them up? And I've never actually done that, so I don't actually know where I asked you to take them, but, yeah. And so the phone will ring, so you can actually pick it up and unplug it, even if it's not ringing. If you don't want it to ring, because it's annoying sometimes, you can just unplug it, and just, which makes it... I mean, you don't get the jobs, but sometimes if you're trying to do something on the car, it's really annoying that it keeps bu buzzing, like, buzzing, 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 buzzing all the time. It's really frustrating. So I think that's the thing, that's the basics for inside the house. Um, so let's go and have a look outside now. I uh, wish there was actually an outside light there, make it a bit brighter sometimes. So obviously I've already finished the car as such and it runs, so it's not... Yeah, so <coughs> that's what it, this is what it kind of can look like once it's finished. Uh, I've just got some parts left over, some spares. Um, basics, basically, when you're assembling something, make sure if in doubt to look up what you're trying to do if you don't know how to do it there's nearly every bit nearly it has a, some sort of screw or bracket or something which you do need to attach so if it, if, it does, if there isn't one you're either doing something wrong or you've missed something that's the general indication I've got from playing it so you pretty much use a toolbox for like everything um, F to open it then you get all your spanners you've got a whole bunch of spanners you can pick from different um, side that each bit's got screws on it and different you can't see them no you can't see them. each yeah each bit's got different screws on them so it will highlight itself in green I think it was uh, my friend was saying so I'm a bit colorblind so I think it was green it highlights in green um, when you've got the right color and if you don't have the right color it won't highlight at all I'm sure let's see if I can find a screw to show you ah that's it yeah so these screws yeah oh yeah there's lots so, yeah so that means I've got the right screwdriver for this and you use the scroll wheel to unscrew and screw in. So yeah, so and when it doesn't screw in for that screwed in. So yeah, so if it's the wrong size screwdriver, so let's pick another one just for the sake of it, it won't highlight, so then you know you've got the wrong one. Sometimes it can be just you got the wrong angle on it, but most times it means it's the wrong one. There is also a screwdriver which you do use for adjusting for tightening the spark plugs, adjusting the carburetor and adjusting the tension of the fan, uh, the timing belt or something like that, I think, yeah <coughs> so you don't use it that much, but it is needed and I did, it did take me a while to figure out what the hell it was for but so I was just going around in circles um, other than that, the car, I mean, it's quite straightforward the way it goes apart uh, together I mean, you can work it out for yourself the hoist, yeah, use it for putting the engine on it. <coughs> I recommend whilst when you start assembling the engine, as soon as you've got the two parts on the engine, which allows you to actually be able to winch it, 
much damp. Uh, I'd recommend putting it on here, but it makes life much easier because you can just walk around and look and see what's what. Um, and you also need that to put it into the car. You can't put it into the car without using that hoist. Because you need to lower it into a specific position and bolt it in position whilst it stays in that position. Um, apart from that, yeah, also use this pit like to actually see all the screws. But there's a bunch of screws underneath, left, right, and center, and all these linkages and gear things. You'll miss these. You'll miss a lot of screws if you don't come underneath. So you just make sure you do have to make sure you do actually come underneath and have a look. The worst bit I found in the tie car is actually getting the exhaust pipe on, just because it's well, it's just a bit dumb. You can respray the car too afterwards. Um, that's to shove where all the parts are when you spawn in. There's a radio. I believe that doesn't work, and that's normally in the bedroom. It's car trolley jack, car jack, petrol tanks. It's quite straightforward. That's the van. There's a van you can use for driving around. I personally, I don't really like this van. <coughs> I find it quite frustrating because it's weird to drive. It's very light and sort of flimsy feeling, and it sort of flies around and kills you quite a lot. So <coughs> I tend to not use it too much. Um trying to think. Um, so that's the car really. Um, that's the vehicle. I can't, I don't actually have a lot of vehicles just there so I can't really show you but oh, actually I'll show you quickly. Is the, um, if I can see it from here. See the barn which is just over here, over there, that building over there. You can see the truck trailer just there. That's where the tractor and the sewage truck will spawn by default. It's just mine not there because I've left them around the map. Um, for getting to the shop, the best thing, apart from obviously making sure you get the right time of day, uh, when there is, there's a, there is a clock in the kitchen right here, which took me a while, I didn't actually notice it was there for ages. And so you just have to figure out what time it is, because the shop doesn't open all day. So in terms of actually getting to the shop, you can drive there with the van, the sewage truck, or the tractor I guess, but you either want to use the van, the sewage truck, or alternatively you can use the boat. Now the boat is more direct because you're literally just cutting straight across the lake. However, it's not as practical because you can only carry one thing at a time in this game. So if you buy a bunch of things, well you can't really carry them properly so it does become quite annoying. You can see the boat over here, I'll just show you quickly. Um, so if you've got a bunch of things to buy, I'd suggest taking one of the vehicles. However, if you don't, uh, if you just buy one item, then yeah, you can just buy... Um, then I'll just use the boat. And that's what I've been using recently because it's more efficient a bit faster. <coughs> so it's a quite a small simple boat but it does the job. Um, and then you just, you take the boat, it's not so obvious when you look at the map you don't know where to go but what you do is you go over here. It's like over here you want to go. Over there. So it's quite straightforward, you just go straight forward. And you have to make sure when you're using the boat you slow down and well in advance because I managed to, a few days ago I went way too fast and I just overshot and went onto the land and then I got stuck and then, well yeah I got stuck. That wasn't really good. So, I'm trying to think, any other tips for the game? Um, you probably will rage quit at some point or have spares, um, but that's normal. The game is doable; it's not impossible. Um, yeah, um, it's quite a fun game. Once you get used to it and figure out the controls and how to do things, it is quite fun, uh, and it will keep you busy for a while. Um, one thing definitely make sure is make sure you don't ever run out of food or water or drinks um, even if you're just going to the shop because you can actually die on your way to the shop if not so once the bars on the top left go to the red then you know you've got trouble apart from the dirtiness which I don't think the dirtiness actually does anything apart from just makes a lot of flies fly around you however the other things can actually kill you so you have to be careful with that but apart from that I think that's all the basics for now that I can think of so I hope you find this useful and uh, I'm thinking I might be back for a um, basic series of like how to do stuff in the game. So happy building I guess.